Hello everyone. Today our group is going to present our case study on the topic motor vehicle pool system. So let me briefly introduce our case study. In this case study, the faculty members from different department can use vehicles by filling out various forms such as reservation form, trip completion form, and a checkout form that have various attributes. Now the TFBS also performs a vehicle maintenance in which a vehicle maintenance log form, maintenance details form are need to be filled. The mechanic who releases the vehicle back into the service signs the form. TFBS also maintain parts inventory and have a part manager. Each month, TFBS issues a set of reports like revenue report, part usage report, and a vehicle maintenance summary. Now, on the basis of this case study, we have identified the different re relationship and entity in this. So, moving on to this, we have plotted an ER diagram. An ER diagram shows different entities and a relationship between them. Here, different entities are uh, drawn with a rectangle while the relationships are drawn with a rhombus. So, faculty, department, trip completion form, TFBS center, etc. are all called the entities and the and managers created by, uh, filled by are all known as uh, relationships. So, every department manages the faculty and every faculty fills a trip completion form. Now, the oval here represent the attributes associated with the various entities. And the underlying attributes are known as the primary key. So here, CC number, faculty ID, vehicle number, odometer reading, etc. are all known as the attributes, while the form number is the primary key of trip completion form. And in faculty, faculty ID is the primary key. In department, department number is the primary key of the entity department. Now, moving on to double the, the double rhombus and the double square. The double rhombus and double square represent a weak entity relationship, which means that the primary key of credit card receipt is not enough to uniquely identify a tuple. So we require the primary key of trip completion form to uniquely identify the tuple. Now, the double lines here represent the total participation, which means that every credit card receipt does not, uh, every credit card receipt must have a trip completion form, but it but it is not necessary for a trip completion form to have a credit card receipt. Every here, the every department must have a faculty and every faculty must belong to a department. So here also the total participation is ensured. The TSBS center maintains every vehicle and every vehicle is maintained by the TSBS center. So here also is total participation ensured. Now moving on to different type of relationship. We have one-to-one -one relationship with maintenance log form and maintenance detail form. Every maintenance form has a unique every has a unique maintain, maintenance detail form. So here is one-to-one -one relationship. In department and faculty, we have one-to-one -one relationship. Every department may have n number of employees, but every fac, but every employee in the with his faculty must have a unique department. Now there are there is also many-to-many -many relationship. In, in which the parts and the mechanic, different parts may have different mechanics and different, uh, so here is the many to many relationship. Now, moving on to the EER diagram. Okay, so now let's talk about what is double ER. Double ER stands for enhanced entity relationship. So before talking about the proper definition of double ER, let's talk about why we need double ER. So as the complexity of the data increases, it's become more and more difficult to use ER model for the database modeling and some improvement in made in ER model to make it more suitable and understandable. Now let's talk about what is double ER. Double ER is nothing is just basically an extensive version of ER model. So along with the improvement, a three new concepts were added in the existing ER model. First one is generalization, second one is specialization and third one is aggregation. We will talk all these thoughts we will talk all these three topics with the help of our project okay so first what is generalization generalization is just nothing it means that some entities that have common features or common attributes are generalized or combined up into a high level entity or we call it special uh, super class let us understand it with an example just like in our er model we have ment log maintenance form reservation form and uh, trip completion form so with the help of these concept sets in EER model, we can combine those three into an high level entity called form or we can call it super class. Let us see the one another example of the generalization. As you can see in our ER diagram, 
मकैनिक्स पार्ट्स मैनेजर एंड फैकल्टी हैव कॉमन एट्रीब्यूट्स दैट इज आई डी और नेम सो वी जनरलाइज दैम इन टू अ हाई लेवल एंटिटी कॉल्ड वर्कर और वी कैन से दैट सुपर क्लास नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वट इज स्पेशलाइजेशन स्पेशलाइजेशन जस्ट नथिंग इट्स अपोजिट ऑफ जनरलाइजेशन दैट मीन्स इन स्पेशलाइजेशन अ हाई लेवल एंटिटी इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू सब एंटिटीज लेट एज अंडरस्टैंड इट्स हेयर एज यू कैन सी रिपोर्ट इट इज अ हाई लेवल एंटिटी दैट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू सब एंटिटीज कॉल्ड माइलेज बाय ड्रिवन माइलेज बाय डिपार्टमेंट एंड माइलेज बाय फैकल्टी ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वट इज दिस यूनियन सेट बिलोंग्स हेयर ओके सो दिस यूनियन साइन इज बिलोंग हेयर इज मीन्स दैट माइलेज बाय फैकल्टी माइलेज बाय डिपार्टमेंट एंड माइलेज बाय व्हीकल्स आर द सबसेट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज दिस डी एंड ओ शोइंग ओवर देयर सो दैट मींस ओ स्टैंड्स फॉर ओवरलैपिंग एंड डी स्टैंड्स फॉर डिस जॉइंट दैट मींस ओवरलैपिंग स्टैंड्स फॉर ट्रिप कंप्लीटेशन फॉर्म रिजर्वेशन फॉर्म एंड मेंटेनेंस फॉर्म मे बी इंटरकनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर बट इन डिस जॉइंट रिवेन्यू रिपोर्ट माइलेज बाय व्हीकल माइलेज बाय डिपार्टमेंट आर कंप्लीटली Uh, not uh, completely uh, unrelated to each other now let us talk about one more disadvantage of er in er it's as you can see uh, part inventory it's hard to tell whether it is whether the num oil oil filter air filter belt are their data properties or their sub constraint but in eer model this problem can be solved because in double er model data constraint and properties are precisely described as you can see here data wo uh, parts inventory are further divided by using this union set wo union sign and parts you oil 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 filters air filters and belt and these type uh, name quantity and number are their data properties so let's honestly talk about this both eer and er are good in their ways but if the data have detail if da database have a detailed data then it's preferred to use double er because it's give a, a perfectly schema or a perfectly description of the data so that's all for the eer model before explaining our case study let's see what is meant by schema so schema refers to the organization of data as a blueprint of how the database is constructed as we are discussing about the relational database so data is organized in tabular form Now let's go back to our case study. For better understanding of the schema, let's see the comparison between schema and ER diagram. So let's first take uh, take a look at the report table. As we can now let's see the ER diagram. As we can see in the ER diagram, rep uh, report is the entity and it has five attributes. So side by side we have created. report table which has id as the primary key and other attributes are type total pages issue date and vehicle id here is acting as a uh, foreign key which is taking reference from the tfbs center and then second table is the parts inventory table in this table the number is acting as a primary key vehicle id and mgr id are the uh, as acting as a foreign key which are referencing from tfps center table and parts manager table respectively other attributes are name quantity type next it's next is parts manager table in this table id is a primary key and the name is the other attribute and in the parts table parts coach is the primary key and other attributes are name usage quantity type next is the signed out table signed out tab in this table there is no primary key so signed out is the weak entity and parts number mechanic id is referencing from parts table and mechanic table respectively after it there is there is maintenance detail form table in this table form number is the primary key and log number is the foreign key which is referencing from maintenance log form maintenance log form table and other attributes are vehicle number mechanic id log number parts used maintenance item next is maintenance log form form number is the primary key and vehicle id is the foreign key which is taking reference from tfps center and other attributes are vehicle number number initial log entry date completion date maintenance type mechanic id log number 
and the next table is TFBS Center table which has only one attribute vehicle ID which is acting as a primary key next is the parts usage form in this table form number is the primary key and other attributes are name usage quantity and MGR ID here is acting as is taking reference from the parts manager table then next is usage report table which has ID as a primary key and parts code man manager ID as a foreign key which are taking reference from parts table and manager table respectively similarly by looking at the ER diagram less rest of the ER diagram the tables can be created here the first SQL query says give the details of vehicle with vehicle ID 5 we select the details from table vehicle and apply the wear clause with vehicle ID 5 so this is the result the second SQL query says give the parts number that are signed out by various group by mechanic ID now here we select the mechanic ID and parts number from signed out and then we group by the mechanic ID here is the result give the name of departments having more than one faculty member First, we perform a natural join between the faculty and the department and then we apply the count where the fac uh, faculty ID for greater than 1 and here is the result. Then the fourth SQL query says give the name of faculty member who has a second letter of their name as A. Then we apply for this we apply the like function and here is the result. Okay, so now let's talk about what is SQL queries. Okay, so first query is give the vehicle type, destination, faculty name issued with form number greater than RF2. So here is the query that is select vehicle type, destination, faculty name from reservation form where form number is greater than RF2. RF2 belongs to reservation form. Okay, the next query is given the type of report with vehicle ID is V1 and issued date 2020-0705. So here is the query. Select type from report where vehicle ID is equals to V1 and issue date is equals to 2022-0705. So here is the result. Third query is give the reservation details with form number RF2. So here is the detail. Uh, right what is the query of uh, this select star from reservation form where uh, form number is equals to rf2 so here is the answer the last one is give the name of the part which have quantity less than 10 so here is the query select name from part where quantity is less than 10 so here is the answer now let me explain some of the sql queries so the first query is the give the vehicle number which are reserved by department number 3. So SQL command for this query is select vehicle number from vehicle where D number equals to 3. So here is the output of the following SQL command. So the second query is give the vehicle details with revenue report ID R15. So SQL command for this is select asterisk from vehicle V natural join generate G where G dot report ID equals to R15. So output for this is this table. Now third query, display the records of vehicle in sorted order of their mileage from lowest to highest. So SQL command for this is select asterisk from vehicle order by mileage ASC. And the output is this table. Now fourth query, display the records of parts report where report is issued by nine issued after 19-5-2022. So SQL command for this is select asterisk from parts usage, re usage report where issue date is greater than date 19-5-2022 and the output for this query, qu this SQL command is this table. 